Scikit learn tip number 35. There's no need to use dot values when passing a data frame or a series to scikit learn. It knows how to access the underlying NumPy array. Okay, this is a simple one. So you'll see lots of scikit-learn tutorials that use the dot values attribute or the to numpy function to convert pandas objects into numpy arrays before passing them to scikit-learn. And all this tip is saying is this is not necessary with scikit-learn. Number one, when you do that, you're making your code a bit more verbose. You're doing one extra thing you don't need to do. But also, scikit-learn does understand pandas objects quite nicely. A column transformer can understand a pandas data frame. You can access columns by name if you pass it a pandas data frame. And furthermore, scikit-learn has improvements planned in which it will take more advantage of pandas data types. So the bottom line there is, don't try to turn your pandas objects into numpy arrays for scikit-learn's benefit. It will benefit more if you just pass it pandas objects.